Okay, howdy everybody. Good morning, welcome. I am Barmathrax. This is Surrounded. Let us play game. We got work to do. Still in recovery mode. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we are. <clears throat> what to work on. So, let's see. Just after midnight, 288 zombies killed so far. Only two points. So, um, hmm. I have everything I really care about. I mean, I'll take the more melee at night, but. <clears throat> okay, map. What do we got? Infestation. A lot of infestations going on. So, we have one filter for our 99, 98, what, no, 99% radiation mask. <clears throat> I need at least one more and I need some anti-rad pills before I feel comfortable going into the, any of the radiated, area, eh, radiated areas. We're also woefully short on ammo, so basically I just need to go accumulate some, some cash. I need cash. Finding safes is the best way, and I don't remember where the safes are located. Um, oh, let's see. I know there's probably a couple in the town nearby. I remember there's one, I know there's at least one here. I think it's in the upper floor, I remember. There's probably at least one or two in here. We never did fully clear this place, and I'm not sure we're ready to do so yet. I think there was one here, and here, I forget. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Maybe we'll go clear the the nearby building. It's not, well, man, it's a high-density place, and if I get more than one or two things on me, it's really dangerous. Um... And I remember seeing one at, um... There was a trailer park that had one that surprised me. I don't remember where that trailer park was. Somewhere to the south. Choices, choices, choices. There were a lot of radiateds at the, uh, the bomber last time. think what I might do is just roll down the road and go hit the end of the town here, get into the, uh, the subway. We know there's a hidden cache in the subway and a couple of decent loot spots. And it's not terrible hard to fight through the subway. So I think I'll do that first. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, gear, so lockpick, some batteries, a little bit of ammo, still trying to get our bolt cutters back. I actually need, uh, I need more bandages. Yeah, I need more bandages.
Okay, off we go. <clears throat> Let's... Uh, while we're down here, well, I... Hmm. Maybe what I'll do instead is I'll hoof it. We'll go get the uh, the charger and bring it around to this side. Then we'll we'll loot it and then we'll bring the charger back home. And that way I have uh, three vehicles ready to go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's get that out of the way. Uh, drink. All right. Hopefully this is the last time I have to make this long run. we don't get attacked by wolves again <laughs> let's see I should last time we got hit by wolves like right here uh, I should probably roll over here and check for the cache and then kind of roll around the hill and then down so let's let's do that well hi there camp I don't have Not, not shooting at me. Very foggy day. It doesn't sound like they have any suppressors on their weapons. Why uh why aren't they attracting zombies like I do? Hey, we have a hidden cache. All right. What you got for me? The Spectre Scope 9 mil and <clears throat> the Saga. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be in first person mode. Whoa, what the hell are you doing out here? Hey, hey! <laughs> Damn, these things are so fast. I used to run around with my, uh, my axe out. I was just thinking in my head that <laughs> maybe I should switch to my axe. Wasn't really expecting to find a random zombie out here. Two random zips. <laughs> Out of stamina. Better wait. Why are you guys hanging around down here? Three random zombies. Four random zombies. Wow. Okay. Shoot. Keep swinging. Four random no loot zombies. Another one. I've been through here three or four times. I remember once I had... Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's another one there. I, I had a couple of crawlers over by that little down tower. But there's a lot of zombies for some reason. Huh. I guess it's a possible spawn point. And it just changes.
All right, so that's the straight line there. That's a ways to go. Go right of the straight line a little bit. This fog gonna burn off. Eh, let's go ahead and visit. I've run past this a couple of times. I don't remember if I've actually come down and looted it. Ah, there's that traditional. They got too close and you swing through them, problem. <laughs> Harder to time the uh, first swing of the axe for these faster zombies. They so catch them a few feet away instead of right on top of you. Like that. Attention to me. Ah, not at the same time. Damn it. Oh, uh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> that was so bad. That's all it takes. A couple of hits. For some reason, they uh, my swinging and their swinging went completely out of sync. <laughs> and I think they both hit me initially, put me at like 40. And then I just, I would hit and then he would hit, I would hit and he would hit and I'm dead. Oh my God. That's not a good start to the day. Now I got to run again. How fun. Ah, damn it. All right. At least the setting change is working. Well, that was not exciting. Mm. All right, change of plans. Apparently, I need to work on my combat skills. That was just embarrassingly bad. Again, though, the speed. The speed. That's what kills me mostly. It's the speed of these guys on this difficulty. Yeah, they hit harder and they have more hit points, but it's always what, what catches me out is their, their crazy speed. If I get more than one coming at me and I can't just precisely get them stacked up so I can simultaneously hit them, I get into real trouble as they arrive at different points of time and then each of my swings doesn't get the stagger I need and uh, I go down in just two or three hits. So let's just come over and get a little practice. I didn't get to see if those guys were modified. Um, one of them apparently was radiated because I heard the radiation meter ticking off. And that's the one that really hurt. Hanging out right on the other side of the fence. 
Through the body again. <laughs> I can't win. Then I swing just a hair too early and still get hit. Oh, man. It's going to be a rough day. I can feel it. Holy crap. Oh, we're dead. Oh, they got hung up on the helicopter. Thank God. How did I get all three of them attracted? They must have uh, heard me searching through the helicopter. I didn't think it would go to that range. Wow. <laughs> See this? this crazy guys are so fast. Oh, man. Hey there, Rim. Congratulations. Ah, uh, it's, it's, I've already died once today. <laughs> We're 10 minutes in and I died. Not going well. And this fog, this fog won't go away. All right. I want to try to go in there. I don't know if I want to try to go in there. Maybe we'll go cheese the gun store and see what we can grab out of there with our limited rad protection. Yeah, so little ammo.
Um, it's usually, it's these are the problem. I need 10 at a time, and I've got 26 whole rounds. It's not going to get me very far. Uh, it needs five at a time. <clears throat> and uh, our five bullet casings is 10 scrap metal, which is, you know, sounds ridiculous, but kind of the way it works. And then if I want like 308 rounds, it's 10 and 10. So, yeah, it won't get me much. Definitely not enough for things like uh, 9 mil. I actually haven't tested. Is it just directly one-to-one, -one? meaning 10 equals 10? I think that's how it works, but it seems weird that the recipe stays the same for every single bullet type. Some are way more effective than others, so it would seem like we should have different recipe amounts for the different bullet types. I mean, it should take a different amount of materials to make 10 9 millimeter rounds as opposed to 10 50 caliber rounds or... Do I even have a 50 cal option? I don't even think I have a 50 cal option. No. So, whichever. But I'm just going to hold off on that. The best way to get the bullets is to buy them. Go to the merchants and you can get like 80 at a time just from the merchants. The trick is just figuring out how to get the cash. And the easiest way to do that is to know where the safes are located. I just haven't memorized the safe locations so that I can sweep them and uh, get a bunch of money and then just go buy up all the merchant bullets, hop in the Dodge Charger and do a merchant run and end up with two or three hundred rounds of ammo. So it's vastly faster than the occasional gunpowder that I happen to loot and getting converted. All right, so we've got plenty of Molotovs. Um, let's, um, yeah, let's go do a, a cheese run on the... The gun store. Problem's gonna be the uh, gonna be the radiation more than the zombies. Eh, let's take the or the SUV. Yeah, becoming a sunglasses collector is the slow way. <laughs> really slow. 50 at a time. Go hit one safe and you can get 3,000 cash and credits. A credit or two, usually. That'll buy a lot of bullets. Ice cream truck is still here. I wonder if these are permanent locations for the ice cream trucks. Whoa! <laughs> Where the hell? And I get hit a second time. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on today. Like, where the hell was she? Why don't I have any of my bandages on my hot bar anymore? <laughs> I absolutely set these up on my hot bar. What the hell happened? Oh, did it undo it when I died? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, where the hell was she? She's constantly getting ambushed by zombies for some reason. Howdy, howdy, Azrael. I'm doing terrible. Literally. We're, we're getting wrecked. Jeez. I mean, I'll grab it because I'm going to sell it right now, but that was pretty terrible loot. Hopefully we can loot a bunch and just roll up here and sell it to this guy and loot a bunch and roll up here and sell it to this guy.
Hope you're selling filters, which you are not. The Binox, see, look at the ammo count. I mean, that's where you want your ammo. Military crate, a thousand. A vector, 762 suppressor. What uh, tiny amount of cash am I currently rolling around with? 187. There you go. I don't need beans. Hold off on anything else for now. Yeah, this one's actually a lot like CDDA in 3D. As long as you strip out, you know, 99% of the variety, difficulty, and depth. <laughs> Which I'm not trying to be negative to the game. I mean, almost nothing has the variety, complexity, and depth of CDDA at this point. But this actually gives me a feel of a light version of CDDA in the way that I approach things and kiting zombies and driving around in the vehicle looking for points of interest to, to loot and all that kind of stuff. How many ended up over there? Two? Hmm. Crawler zombie, hate the crawlers. Whoops. <laughs> that was funny. When you hear me say whoops, what's usually happening is I play in a window and my mouse has gone down to my hotbar and minimized my gameplay window. <laughs> so I can't see anything all of a sudden. I keep forgetting to move my, my hotbar. Gets me in trouble quite often. You know, streamer problems. All right. I also disappeared my uh, my chat screen. Here we go chat screens. Why have you disappeared on me? Here. All right, you're all back. Love the Hager series. Uh, I like that game a lot. Mainly because it's hard. Miserable, stress-inducing hardness. I like it. <laughs> I admire a game that dials up the difficulty for the, the basic gameplay. There's not like a, uh, please don't kill me, difficulty level. Oh, these stupid crawlers. <laughs> Again? I, where? He must have been over by the fire truck. Oh, my God. I am getting so wrecked today. <laughs> Everywhere I turn. Uh, I can't even have a simple conversation with the audience without getting ambushed by a crawler. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoy the difficulty of Hegra. It makes no bones about uh, it's going to be tough. All right, let's uh, wait a few more seconds for my health to come back up and then we'll do the deed. We are going to perform the stinky cheese maneuver. Yeah, it should be good. Hey, zombies. Come to me, zombies. Come on, swivel your head around. I have made noise. Run to me. There you go. Probably still at least one in the in the uh, the building. Hey, what the hell, my dude? Good 
Yeah, I wasn't standing over there when that radiated cloud one went off. Who's left? That guy running around in there. <laughs> Come out of there, dude. I don't want to go in there after you. I got to be careful when I go in there because it's all radiated and stuff. Nope. Come on, I can see your shoulder moving. God damn, that guy's still alive. Too many bullets. Way too many bullets for this guy. God dang it. Oh my God. And we're dead again. <laughs> I've died more in the, in the last half hour than I have in the last, I don't know, four live streams of this game. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can't believe this. Apparently there were like five guys still in there because there were the two that just ran up that I was last shooting at one in my face and two more running at me <laughs> when that one killed me. <laughs> I don't have a suppressor for this rifle, so I don't know why the ones that came out the front door straight at me didn't behave like the ones that kept running along up to the side of the, uh, the thing. <laughs> oh my God. Good thing we're not playing permadeath anymore. <laughs> not for this run, anyway. Oh, so bad. Yeah, yeah. How long? 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I'm just getting wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. Well, I'm just going to run over there. I mean, we're here. It's there. I'm just going to run it. I'm not taking another vehicle over there. Um, do, do we're at fitness five, are we? Wow, strength six. I don't do enough sneaking. Still not sure how it would. I mean, if I just roll around like this. And just roll, walk around, sneak around in my base. Am I gaining XP? I'm still a little fuzzy on how you gain the points for those. I don't know if it's just reading books that gives you the points for those or if doing the action gives you points. And then I also don't know what the benefits actually mean. It describes the benefit, but it doesn't give you any numbers. So when it says increases player movement speed, great. By, by what amount? <laughs> Does it double? Does it triple? Each point, does it give me 0. 0.0001 of increase per each point? What, what's the number? <laughs> what am I actually gaining? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, 137. That's, that's different, right? <laughs> I want to say I, I forgot the number already. Ah, uh, 143. So it's a learn by do. Learn by do. <laughs> reloading one. How do you level reloading? Maybe that's, maybe that kind of thing is you get it only from the books. Because really? I mean, that, what? what? <laughs> How does that work? Do I just sit here and swap mags in my, my, my rifle over and over again and I get skill? 
Is it the act of putting bullets in the mag? What, 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 what actually levels that thing? So yeah, that went swimmingly. Apparently we left half a dozen zombies inside the building and they all hid in the corner until I was scoped in and couldn't see them sprinting at me across the parking lot. Because <clears throat> I had already fired half a dozen shots with no effect coming out the door other than the guys running up the ramp. So, you know. Of course I should have assumed a herd of zombies was waiting to pounce. I also find it weird that you get slowed down if you hold a gun in your hand when you're moving, but you don't when you're holding a five-pound fire axe. But the, uh, you know, 14-ounce Glock slows me down by 20%. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, for anybody watching that doesn't know, I'm playing on hardened difficulty, which ramps it up quite a bit. And uh, I turned off permadeath just so that we can push further into the gameplay without me having to restart constantly and just see the same stuff over and over again. So, that's the only reason I'm not playing my normal permadeath, which I pr greatly prefer. <clears throat> But I do try not to die, and uh, I'm failing miserable today. Failing miserably. Ah, where are all you guys? Cheating ninja zombies. <laughs> they're all hanging out at my corpse. Yep, they're all hanging out at my corpse. Ah, that's quite the squad. <laughs> what is that? One, two, three. Oh, there's some specialists in there, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine that I can see still? <laughs> wow. Huh. All right, let's go up and over. Approach from the other side where the red car is and see if we can hang him up on the terrain. <laughs> it's the wind resistance on the Glock that's doing it. Is Is that it? We got the, the complicated physics simulations, uh, calculating wind resistance and such. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Are you the one that got me? <laughs> Are you? There's the special guy. I should probably shoot him from here. But yeah, look at that crowd still. Wow. Another guy there. One, two, three, four, five. Did they repopulate? Because that's, that is a crazy amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that screen alone. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm counting 14. <laughs> 15, I think. I think he just came out. There's no way there were still that many in there. Huh. <clears throat> Not sure what's going on there. This is awkward because these guys are on the wrong side of the red car. <clears throat> what I might do is get in the Jeep, pull them back, use the Jeep to kind of circle the building, pull these guys back away from this spot, and then cheese the geometry again afterwards. 
<clears throat> that or I just run a bunch of them over and then repair the vehicle. Damn it, that other group busted up. Oof, I did a lot of damage. Oof, a lot of damage. That was way more than I thought. So, let's not do that again. Only problem with getting repair kits is wire. It takes wire. Metal's easy to come by, but the wire is a little trickier. All right, how far away can I shoot these guys? <clears throat> yeah, they've spread out a little bit. Go melee. Oh shit, she's upgraded. Oof, she must have taken damage from the car. Look at that. 556 five, and 308. It's an infected undead. She had the red eyes. That's a danger signal when you see the red eyes coming at you. More? Oh crap. Gotta remember to switch back into first person. That's the other benefit to killing all these is a lot of them have bullets. <clears throat> all right, so am I going to be able to get these guys hung up on the vehicle without having uh, a bunch of these zombies that are hanging out back here hit me from the other side? Yellow eyes. What kind are you? Not showing me. Undead crawler. So many zombies. <clears throat> the other problem is if I don't get up on the car in time, I get insta-killed also. <laughs> All right, screw it. Let's see what happens. Oof. Yeah, I got to get rid of these two. So let's go nine mil. Well, I didn't need another one over here, damn it. Their head swiveling away means the following rounds miss them if I... <laughs> the follow-up rounds miss. Oh, crap. They are around the front of the vehicle. Uh, I'm a little worried pathing wise. Usually I go off that way, but these guys might be able to follow me given their position. Uh, if they get to path to me, I'm going to be in big trouble very fast. Let's get rid of at least this guy. All right, I'll take my chances with the rest. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, we're dead. We're dead. I can't outrun him. Urgh. Come on, come on. The whole squad! There goes the vehicle again. <laughs> that went so well. Oh, man. Uh, I am just getting wrecked today. How many guys came after me versus stayed at that vehicle? That is ridiculous. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm not sure I can throw a Molotov far enough to cook the guys that are still near the vehicle. It keeps resetting my bandages. What the hell? Stop doing that, game. 
<laughs> Save the damn items. And they're probably going to come after me as soon as I throw this because they're not blocked. How far is it going to go? All right, so they don't know where I'm at, so they're standing still and cooking. That part's good. Then the other group. Um, crawler going to walk back into the fire? It's going to go out before he dies, probably. Yeah, look at that. He arrives right as it fades. No bullets. Look at this idiot, Yahoo. <laughs> All right, this is where somebody rushes out and kills me while I'm trying to loot corpses. Where's all the bullets? Now the problem part, the radiation. Yep, still somebody in there. A katana. Can't carry it no matter what. Yeah, legendary melee katana. Fruit ninja, anyone? 40 and 4, 20%. Huh? 35 and 4, 16%. Uh, does it have knockback, though? Because that's really what I value the fire axe for, is the knockback. All right, we're going to have to make a trip up to the ice cream man, sell some stuff. I am never going to use that Desert Eagle. Or the Winchester 45. Lots more to go look at. As long as my rads hold out. Alright. I want the big Jenny. Go look at everything else first. We'll pull the Jenny last. Uh, you. Uh, back up.
Come on now. I'll have time for this. Watch, that's going to have drawn those guys back from that other spot. And they're going to kill me here in a second. Faster. Fuck. <laughs> I told you. And I'm dead again. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Did I get hit there or did I uh, kill it and it exploded and I died or the reds? I must have gotten hit, I guess. And that was a special one. Uh, I just... I just can't win today. Just can't win today. Oh my god. The other problem is notice the difference in uh, damage versus headshot damage. And when these, the, this, I, I, I'll keep mentioning the speed is what kills. Yeah, they hit harder. Yeah, they have more hit points. But it's all about the speed because it's really hard to land headshots when they're moving at you like that. And they absorb so many hits, they have a couple hundred hit points. So, I mean, that damn thing would absorb 10, 15 rounds with body shots. And when they're on you and their body is clipping into your body when you're in first-person mode, it's just impossible to get headshots. And it only takes a couple of swings by those guys to kill me. Yeah, brutal, all right. And I'm not sure even in in end game gear that you'd be protected from those situations. I mean, the gear only gives like 20, 25 percent protection. Maybe the super high end gear that I haven't seen yet, if there is even that out there somewhere. But Yeesh. and once again, it reset my my bandage stuff. I don't understand why does it keep everything else but not keep these? That's really really annoying me. And it's disappeared my med kit. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. Huh. Oh wait, I bet uh oh I bet I destroyed uh oh, crap. I bet I had uh, my med kit in one of the pieces of clothing I swapped out. <laughs> that's probably not the game's fault. That's that's me being uh me rushing because of the radiation. I want to try this. I need to try this uh, this sword out. I need to see how effective this is. So let's go pick a fight. See if we can get killed right here by a low-level zombie. I need to know if this has knockback or what. Oh, it does. All right, so it's a more effective fire axe. All right, that's all I need to know. Long as it's got the knockback. What are we up to this morning? Four deaths? Three deaths? I've lost track. Mm, it's respawning zombies. Great. I think that whole area is going to be respawned again. Because I've cleared this a couple of times now, so that's why the count changed last time when we reapproached. That makes it very icky. That means I'm going to have to re-clear that again. Mm. 
Mm, I tried to aim high to hit the head and it just went right on through. Not through the neck, but just through the model. I <laughs> got no damage. Ah, if it's repopping the zombies, but not repopping the gear. Whoa, no stamina. Good thing this has got a really long delay on it. How much stamina does this thing use? I didn't actually look. Uh, it's only four. I think that's the same as the uh, the axe. Yeah. So the loot is not refreshing, but the zombies are. Ouch. Well, there's a there's a consequence for the dying. Now my vehicle is parked right where the zombies are, though. So I can't use it to easily kite around. That group is still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. <laughs> oh, God. I know we saw when I when I was in the room there were at least I saw at least three or four piled up, but it wasn't those guys because that's about the right number. Unless I don't know exactly how this is working regarding the the new zombies. I can't really tell how this is going. Yeah, let's go get killed again. Actually, let's go get in our vehicle and uh, move it. That's twice the blade went right through the body without impacting. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be happening more with this than with the, uh, the fire axe. A white, white eye zombie. Huh? Ah, hate it when I get the crawlers like this because it tends to swing straight down, and then I don't get a hit, and then I get chopped up. Yep, just like that. <laughs> All right, what do we got still? At least three, four, four moving. Rad pills. Oop, red eye. Or not. Three hundred Winchester and seven six two. Just those two. There's any inside. Seventy nine percent. No, nope. I gotta stay with the melee. If I fire the gun, we're probably gonna get surrounded again.
So I think I killed it and it exploded or something because we're both dead. I want none of that. Love lock picking while radiating. Oh, close. Oh, well, that's underwhelming. Crap. Can't fit it. Screw it. All right, so this back area is done. The G28 again. Not impressed. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, not the best loot in here. Uh, you and you. That's all right. Only thing left is the generator, I think. So we'll go sell the junk I don't think I'll use, and we'll go grab the generator and we're out of here. Took way longer and way more deaths than I thought it would. Full up. I gotta sell first. <laughs> okay, don't need that. Um, no. Not sure if I'm gonna need the P90. Pistol compensator. <coughs> I don't think that'll... Oh, it will go on there. All right. Well, we got our MP5 silence now, so that's good. I think... Unfortunately, I'm going to keep the rest. Am I going to have enough space I can make available? Hope it's getting dark. Get this done. Uh, go there... I hope the Jenny will fit in there. If not, I can shove this stuff down here. All right. Ah, one more thing. Before we leave, can I afford to buy anything else? Uh, what are we up to? 9.55. So... Wouldn't mind the 556. Five, Is that it? I think just the Binox and the 556. Five, Not going to try to buy the crate. 762 suppress. Hmm. Yeah, the developer, uh, he was in the live stream a couple streams back, and uh, he was hot fixing things while talking to me in the stream, asking what was any of the problems going on. He fixed. Two or three things that uh, I had mentioned were problematic. And one of them was the G28 taking scopes. So it should be fine now. Let's, uh, let's not go with the Binox. I tend to use the scopes on the rifle for that. But we'll definitely grab the ammo. And I th think that's it. Uh, let's grab that as well. All right. Oof. Got dark fast. Let's grab that Jenny and we're out of here. What the? <laughs> what the? Uh.
Can't see a damn thing. It is hella dark. No batteries, huh? Come on. Why, why won't you place? <laughs> what, what's going on? Weird. It has to be a, a very level spot. If there's even a slight incline, it won't take the uh, the sleeping bag position. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Good to know. Guess we're not going to go get that Jenny. There's at least four in there now. Five. I guess maybe the infected thing respawns them. That's the only thing I can think. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with these things, and I haven't spent a, as much time as I have with this one inside there. I'd almost be willing to try to kill these guys just to, if they continue to drop ammo, this would be a way to farm ammo. Oof, man, we burned through a lot of my nine mil. Um, yeah, let's let's leave this stuff alone. All right, let's run home, <clears throat> drop stuff off. I'm not sure I have another, if I have the materials to uh, make another repair kit. We banged this one up pretty good. We got some updates, upgrades. I got to go look at my gear again, figure out what weapon systems I want to use. And uh, make another plan, because this plan went horribly. I mean, net positive, but only because we're playing not permadeath. But otherwise, it was pretty much a disaster. Do need more storage. I need to get that damn big storage thing in, but uh, he upped the requirements for it to 400 metal. So we're only <laughs> a quarter of the way there. So that's not going to happen anytime super soon. Um, let's see. 28 over here for the moment. Actually, let's make sure we can throw a scope on it and make sure that's fixed. So ACOG. ACOG. So yes, the G28's taking scopes now. Holographic. Uh, I'm okay with what we got there. Uh, just dump. This stuff. Uh, keep that. Put that in there. Ah. We got lots of gas. We don't have repair kits.
Yeah, that's a problem. The uh, clothing I dropped had several of my meds in it. <laughs> my med kit and my one rad pill that I had earlier. Apparently they were in one of the pieces of clothing I dumped. Like a big dummy. I've, I've done that before. Should have realized it was happening. So many problems. Hmm, I need to get rid of these damaged ones. Sell them to the guy again. Might make another trip over there. Or to the merchant to the north. I think I'll go to the merchant to the north. So... Do we switch to the SV-98? I'm going to go check my ammo totals. That goes back into the vehicle. That's getting old. Dropping those. Hmm. Let's see. Six, nine mil. 50 cal, 12 gauge, 300 Winchester. Six two. Oh, you guys over there is really specialized in. More five, five, six. All right, so we got quite a bit of 45 and uh, some five, five, six. Not much in the way of 762 yet, so we'll hold off on switching to a 762. Uh, the 45, I don't have. Let's see, we had the damaged vector, which is still fairly effective. I mean, 1461 versus 2173, that's pretty significantly damaged. We'll keep the 9. Or we switch to the five five six. I'm gonna stick with the three oh eight. It's not enough, big enough bump. More range, but that's not usually the problem. Yeah, we'll stick with the three oh eight. Uh, so. I'm not sure why shotgun ammo is so rare comparatively either.
Let's switch to uh, five, five, six. Hmm. Holographic reflex. Hunter scope. And pull the ACOG. Definitely not. So that's going to be the problem. I don't have a suppressor for this one. All right, maybe we will go Desert Eagle. As you know, that's that's highly suppressed. Nice and quiet. No optics on a Desert Eagle. <laughs> no compensator. Pistol, yeah, compensator. <laughs> Increases weapon noise. I got two, do I? Well, that means going on the sale list. I need bigger magazines. All eight of my 50 cal rounds. Says it'll take a sight, supposedly. Wonder which kind. Oh, hi, nine mil. I got stuff hiding in the lower sections. All right, so we're going to be selling those. I'm not likely to ever use this either, so we'll. Food only. Uh, keeping that temporarily. Keeping those. And keeping that. All right, I think that's enough fiddling. What the hell time is it? Noon o'clock. Let's go to the trader. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I have no wire left after the last batch of repair kits I made. I have one. One is not enough. And you cannot make wire that I remember. Make the kit. It takes two wire. There's no wire crafting on any of these screens. And you can't make it in your own image. So, yeah. All right. 
Did I put a repair kit in here? I did. Um, let's leave this one home. do without the get in vehicle screen <laughs> sticking up in front of my face. This vehicle doesn't look like much, but it's pretty zippy. Fancy Traveler's Backpack. Hey, filters. Need filters. Ammo would be nice. Uh, that's about it, I think. All right. You can have the vector. That and that and that. Here, I'll sell you some empty bottles. Uh, that did. Eleven hundred. That doesn't buy much. Hmm. Gotta buy that. Can't buy two. <laughs> Ninety six of the dollars. Well, that went quick. Yeah, all right. Where to? I think I'm going to roll down the back area here, hit the uh the motel, check the hidden cache. We may stop and fight a few things on the way and hit the military supplies and I still want to get into the uh, the subway over here at Grain Valley. We'll see what we find on the way though. Maybe I should take a look at the northern approach into Elwood, too. Not this time, though. Need to keep grabbing every hunk of scrap metal we can find so we can eventually get that cargo storage put together. <laughs> I rolled it. I finally rolled the vehicle. You can do it. It didn't take any damage. That's funny. Row over one zombie. 25% durability loss. Roll the vehicle. No durability loss. <laughs> that seems a little silly too. Uh, it wasn't the the city here that I was just pointing at. It was the one further south that had the big. So it wasn't Elwood. It was uh, where are you? It was Lawrence Creek. Lawrence Creek has got the really long subway area. So you got to work your way in. The subway is I eh, forget exactly where. It's somewhere over here. And you go into the subway, and it, it just kept going and going and going. But yeah, that's not this one. Um, no, nah, I'm not going to bother. Just a waste of time to do looting these regular things, other than the chance to get wire.
Well, couldn't stop that one. That guy came. He came at me. You saw him. Yeah, this little sedan is pretty pretty nice for just running around without trying to hit anything. A camp, huh? We do have quite a few 308 rounds. It might be time to uh, take out a camp. Oh, it's a big camp. It's a big boy camp. Hey, guys. Yeah, we definitely... I'm definitely going to try that. Probably. There will be tears and blood, but, you know, whatever. All right, let's chop a few things up if we can. Come on. Who's going to notice me first? I haven't seen an airdrop yet. Whoa! Caught out looting zombie. Uh. Yeah, I need to get faster at clearing these areas. I need to be killing multiples at a time. I just worry so much because of the variability of their speed. You end up getting an upgraded one and you get crushed. This thing f swings faster than the axe. It's got the knockback. I wish there weren't hidden, hidden bonuses or hidden statistics for the weapons. The info screen only tells you those basics. Damage, stamina drain, critical hit chance, critical damage multiplier. What it doesn't tell you is speed of the swing. It doesn't tell you whether or not it has the knockback stun um, and to what degree it has it. So there's, there's hidden attributes. I'm not a fan of hidden information. I understand there's only a limited amount of space on the info card, but I wish there was some other way to get more details, even if it took another button press to get like a in, full info screen or something. I'm not going to do that one. Or you learn by doing, which is pretty much how we've been doing it so far this run. Come on, wire. <laughs> hey, we got wire and a repair kit. Nice. Which is what I want the wire for. Well, that's the faster way to do it. Why, why wish for the wire when you can just wish for the repair kit? Uh, I should take at least one backpack uh, as a dupe to store I'm gonna take up too much of my space this run but and we got those guys to kill All right, not bad stop. The vehicle repair kit and the wire alone made it definitely worthwhile. I guess I don't need another backpack because we're not doing the you lose your stuff. That's right. I got to reset my my expectations. All right. Uh, are we going to mess with these guys? Of course we're going to mess. With them. Oops. And then we're not going to have enough space <laughs> to carry stuff out. Uh, I need toolboxes. I still haven't found a single toolbox since uh, our unfortunate demise where we lost all our gear. We got our lunch pack bomb, lunchbox back, but still no toolbox, still no um, bolt cutters. 
The things are taking up way too much space. Okay, how do we approach this? I guess I could start shooting from way back here, let them come to me, and then I relocate. See if we can hit from this far. I'm not sure we've got the range for this. Hold your breath. Oh, never mind, we do. One down. Nothing's going behind. Two down. Hey. Ah, now I'm in range. Damn it. Too many shots on that guy. You're trying to bracket me. for 19% from there with one hit. Not sure how many there are. So one out to that side. A couple of them over there. out the turret that's a long way to run dude <laughs> definitely not a run I would have made <laughs> running straight at a sniper in a straight line 500 yards away all right how many more do we have Time to switch weapon systems. Oh, shit. I went to, s I actually took my hand off my mouse while I was moving. <laughs> to uh, scratch an itch on my brain and uh, of course that's the instant the guy came charging out uh, it's getting dark right when I'm trying to find bodies to loot it gets dark where the hell did that other guy go that I killed out here uh, this is going to be so annoying I don't know where the body went over here There it is. Farther out than I thought. I don't want that stupid thing. Hey there, El Varney. Thanks very much for the resub. Alright, I got at least a couple of corpses out front to go look at. 
Nothing again. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know. I don't know if there's any bosses. I think there might be one more corpse I'm missing. Hopefully we get some good stuff out of the stockpiles. I mean, another repair kit I'll take. Not impressed. An exterminator compensator. Legendary compensator. Increase noise, increase body damage, reduce recoil. Marksman magazine. Tactical helmet. Goodbye, riot helmet. Hello, tack helmet. Time to put our night vision on finally. Um, I mean, we'll take everything until I have to drop something. Oh, really? All right, how about you go there, you go there, and you go over here. Mm, all right, the 762 compensator. I'm not going to take any of this, I'll think. Hey there, Wasteland. Greetings and thank you. Is that everything? I think that might be everything. Oh, not quite. Ah. Don't care. I'm not sure I can find my vehicle in this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll run this way until we hit the road and then follow the road, I guess. This is some ugly weather. Can barely see the side of the warehouse, so the vehicle's over here. Time to sleep out in the open. Oh, once again, I forgot to put the gun away before I placed it. <laughs> Who needed that bullet? That bullet could have been the one that saves my life in the future. Alright, it's starting to run out of space. Where are we at? Doom pan still way up here we're barely barely around the corner from home still um merchants way the hell down there i got at least the motel and that place i want to stop at before i hit the merchant vehicles full i'm almost full hmm Yeah, I also ta appreciate games with true darkness. I comment fairly often on games where the sun goes down and you change your gameplay not a single bit because you can still see perfectly fine in the quote-unquote dark. <laughs> this is one of those games where they take their dark seriously, but unfortunately the light system in the dark is the other complaint where you've got like a raging campfire and it provides light like three feet in each direction and that's it so it, it's got the good end on the one thing it's very dark especially when it's raining and it's dark but then it's got the other bad thing of the light systems just barely give you any actual light so it's hard to get a game that's actually got a really good mix of both um damn it we got space problems all over Let's 
Let's let's screw it. Let's just run home real fast. It's it's with his vehicle. It's a real quick trip. So. We accumulated too much pretty good stuff. Hello. Whoops, I turned into Elwood. I took the wrong turn. Get me out of here. Actually, can we straight line it over the mountain from here? So yeah, I actually turned here instead of turning here. Uh, I mean, our house is right here, but simpler to go around. Zombies are hanging out together. Church is pretty busy. Okay, we're leaving one and one. Gotta go drop stuff. I don't think I'm going to end up using the AK-12. We'll just stick with this rare AR-15 for our 5.56. So I won't need that. Uh, might maybe switch the SV-98 when we start picking up more 7.62 and replace the hunting rifle. So I don't need either of those. I don't need the AK. We got the G28 I'll use for my 762 assault. Keep the saga for when we switch to shotgun. We'll go ahead and put that in. Sale. That's for sale now. Terminator compensator. What does this fit on? We've got the sniper compensator, so it's probably not going to fit on that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what category of weapon this actually fits on. Legendary for what? 762? 556? Nope. Nope. <laughs> what the hell does this go on? No muzzle option on the Desert Eagle. Yeah, I don't know what this thing fits on. Shotgun? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Go ahead and get our civilian goggles in. They're terrible, but... Better than nothing if we get caught out at night again. 
All right, so keeping that, keeping the accoutrement for now. Uh, and put that away. No idea what that goes on. Twelve gauge. One of these days I'll have to try dropping razor wire in front of a firing position. See just how much that 25 damage helps. Not sure it's worth carrying around just to deploy. Um, that's it really. So I'm going to sell the three weapons. I'll probably sell the razor wire. Sell those. That clears out my inventory, but I got more stuff in the car. That legendary shotgun, I guess. Wrong vehicle. All right, so one each of those. Uh, well, oops. I'm at zero, zero food. Ah, there's the damage. All right. Yeah, yeah, settle down. Okay, we're all set. Let's see which route to take. I still kind of want to hit the motel. I think I'll go... We'll go this way. We'll go past the lake and straight across. Instead of going around. I haven't cleared the bomber recently. Is this place still chock full of radiateds? It's still got quite a few. Uh, now nah, let's get this other thing done. All right, so we're going here. So straight ahead. We've got zombies hanging out near the tower. The crawlers, so they're pretty common for that spot. Motel. Hmm. Shack right here, I don't think I knew about. Go chop up some zombies. I hate these fast movers, as they're so ridiculous. I gotta start swinging when they're like 20 feet away in order to intercept them. <laughs> Come at me, bro.
Oh, supply drop. Okay, good to know about. What you got? More wires, always appreciated. Even some tape. That's it. That's it. That is a katana. Legendary melee katana. It is superior to the fire axe. All right, only thing I care about at the motel is the back corner here for the barrel. Oh, we got no barrel. All right, we're out of here. Um, do to do. This is not the one that has the storage container. All right, this we got to go around. Radiation, I don't want to burn my limited filters. We have an infestation out here? I didn't look at my map close enough. Ah! Crap. Don't shoot my car. Ah, Bambies. <laughs> they infested my favorite neighborhood. Oh, the bastards. The bastards. I did not check that on the map before I came over here. I <laughs> didn't realize they moved my infestation over here. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, is there a reason to go in here when it's infested? It's still, I don't have the bolt cutters for the locker in that house. That's still going to be the military. I'd like to go in there, but I'm not going in there if it's infested. So let's, um, let's change our path. Let's race down and we'll hit Trader Joe's. I'll work my way up here and then we'll go around and do the subway. Uh, nothing in here I need. We've got the axe. It's just one or two normal loot spots. Not worth the time. What does this look like infested? I think this is the first time I've been over here while it's been infested. Just how bad is it? I mean, it doesn't look nearly as bad as the other, the gun store infestation. Hell of a lot more zombies, but I'm not even sure that would get me radiated. Hmm. Let's see if we can lob a Molotov into that crowd. That one's got red eyes. Till she puts her head down, then it looks like she doesn't. Enjoy, crowd of zombies. Kill point added. <laughs> Love that secondary wave of skill point or uh, experience that we just got. I don't know if I can trust getting in here without getting hit from behind.
be. Oh man, the timing again. Run, double them up. Double them up. Swing wide, swing wide. <laughs> we got lucky there. They stayed just close enough together. Looks like we've got the majority of the infestation done, so I guess I'll finish clearing. Wow, you got some hit points. And some 300 Winchester. Whoops, too early. Like there's quite a few hanging around back there. Probably chased a deer out that way. All right, I think that's it, other than maybe that guy. Do they put um, extra loot containers in the infested room? I don't need. So if that's the house that's infested, is there going to be a loot container, a military loot container added to it? Holy, uh, that doesn't look good. Oh, I had no idea I could melee them from up here. This feels problematic, though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like doing that. Interesting, the distance that they heard me rustling into the garbage bag, though. They heard me all the way up inside that house and came running. Quite a few out there. At least some kind of a radiated inside that I do not want to melee. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of committed to clearing this place at this point. Just finish them off. Oof, almost didn't get the swing off. That guy had some good ammo, though. All right, I need to draw out the zombie with... I need to kill it with gunfire from range. I need to get a spot where I can see it and shoot it. But I want to make sure I've cleared as much of the local zombie population before I start firing a gun. I... Do not want a crowd of super fast radiated enemies coming at me. 
I think I've cleared it other than the guy in there. Hopefully there's not more than one. See the eyeball. Uh-oh. There's a second one. Oops. Hello. Let's get way back. Both of them. Well, that's quite the pile of corpses. Well, hi there, Zombie. Uh. Nope. Not done. Stop waving your head around. <laughs> 13 rounds left. I'm getting radiated. I don't see any extra loot in here. I just see the regular loot containers. All right. Well, that answers that question. I don't like that. Oh, I do need to loot all this. Do it quick. I need the ammo. So hard to loot stacks of bodies. Good enough, I think. All right. Give me key cards. We got uh, Bravo. Med supplies container. I still have not seen. 42. But we got. Uh, I still have not seen. Um, lost my train of thought. Uh, bolt cutters were missing. And uh, I forget. Oh, fishing pole. Whoa, XM2010. All right, E90, shotgun suppressor, pistol suppressor, XM. Uh, hmm. Yeah, toolbox, toolbox is what I need. All right, not bad. It was definitely worth the stop. Used up most of the day, but wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Good to know how they handle the infestation over here. Uh, where the hell did I leave my vehicle? 
Not used to having this little vehicle here. Do to do. We are full up. All right, now I have to hit the trader. Get over there before it gets dark. Oh wait. You can destroy the infestation and loot the stockpile. Oh, all right. Go do that real quick. Not that I have any space. So the corpse pile can be what? You hit it? What do you what do you do with it? I don't know. What am I supposed to be accomplishing here? Can't see anything. Can't loot. And it says it's doing damage, so I guess I just keep swinging. That session weakens. Want a couple zombies? Well, I don't want that. That'll get me killed. <laughs> Oh, 1,700 hit points. Nice. Hey! <laughs> Rude. Got no stamina. Down to 70 rad resist. Yeah, I was. that's why I was backing off to throw a Molotov, but then that guy showed up. Interrupted me. Uh, not that one. If I can get it through the door. And dark. That's going to take a lot of Molotovs. That's at least. Oh, shit. Sure, I'll be able to find a flat spot to deploy it. Oh, never mind. Problem's going to be just even if it has good loot, what am I going to toss? Uh, probably go sell. Then come back and finish it and then run home with whatever we get or go sell again. So we'll be back. I'll finish it off. Hopefully it's still here in the same condition when we get back. Another charger. Or is that the charger I left? Uh, I think that's the charger I left. My marker disappeared. I forget. What condition are you in? Go kill these guys. Come on. I know you're radiated. Come to me. Nick attack. Mm. 
bullets. Ah, the jukebox. Got no space for the... Oh, oh nope, I got no space. Uh, if I do... Pull you down to med supplies. Get you into med supplies. Must have jukebox. All right. Uh, what condition did I leave this in? I think it was an okay shape. Yeah, 6,400, so I don't need to repair it or anything. One of these days, we'll come back and get it and take it back home. All right, time to dump some junk. Got filters and 45. That's all I care about. All right. Uh, so you can have that. That. Um, Keeping most of that. I want to take the jukebox. I, well, I think I tested this and it doesn't actually... Oh, this is the player own music. That's right. You have to uh, put music files in a, in a spot. I think I'll just sell it. I don't care. Uh, I don't care about an MRE. Forever to transfer all this stuff. It takes up so much space. That we're going to keep back at the base. So, all right. So, keeping sell the rest. Remove the mags and then sell them separately. Uh, I guess that's one of those. I'm yeah, good to know, but I don't know if I care enough to uh, to do it. It just gets too fiddly at a certain point, and I just stop caring. Uh, let's see. I think I'm keeping the rest of this stuff. Oh yeah, got to buy the stuff I wanted. I want the filters. That gets me up to three extra filters when that one runs out. So I'm going to try to keep three minimum at all times. I'll just replace as needed to maintain my three. We got seven batteries. That's pretty good. I'm not worried there. Uh, guess the 45 rounds. I'm not using or carrying 45. We actually, I, I'm not going to buy the 45. I tend to get a lot of that stuff. If I ever switch to a vector or something, then I'll start accumulating again. So I think we're done here. Yeah, I really need a toolbox. Uh, 
Um, I think we tried putting the suppressor. Yeah, it wouldn't go. I haven't found anything yet I can put on the deagle. It says it takes a sight, but we haven't found which magical sight works on it. And this is usually, it just puts like one round of ammo for some reason in this last spot. So there's not much you can do to the deagle. Not that I've been able to see anyway. That's the only problem with this vehicle. Nice and light and zippy, but very little carry capacity. All right, we'll go back and we'll see what we can pick up and then we'll take stuff home. Yeah, we've had the red dot. I think I might have it on one of my guns back at the base. I'll have to go check when we get back. We found a fair assortment, and I've got some slotted on weapons already. We're getting closer to that storage container. Uh-oh. Respawns. They're all facing away from you. You bums. Turn around. Holy crap. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. Now I'm wishing I w had the space to loot it beforehand. <laughs> uh, we might pass up that opportunity. <laughs> They're respawning en masse. Uh, I think it might be on a timer when this happens. So I killed like 12 or so with the Molotov and now they've all repopped. Huh. I love these three guys guarding here, making it so I can't really effectively get a Molotov into the building. Uh, I got three Molotovs left with me currently. I wonder if the Molotov will make enough noise out in the front door to pull the crowd out. Let's find out. And it's definitely not the crowd, and I need the other two Molotovs to kill the infestation. Oh yeah, that's way too many still. Well, that's unfortunate. Now, nah, I think I'll wait for a better opportunity another time. I could if I could get close enough to get a Molotov in the door. The problem is I only have two more Molotovs, and if I get too close, those guys have really long-range vision, and if even two of them trigger and come at me, I'm probably going to die. 
Because the instant I fire a gun, all of them come rushing at me. They're all faster than me by a substantial margin. So <clears throat> I don't think I'd be able to get the Molotov in there without getting myself killed. Let's, uh, let's relocate the vehicle over here. So the difficulty is getting close enough to get a Molotov in the door. I just don't think I'll be able to get close enough. So I'm wondering if I fire a gun, if I can concentrate them, fire the gun to get their attention, and then jump in the car and relocate to get them all grouped up on the spot where I fired the gun, and then come back and Molotov them. But then I have the same problem. I'm, I'm out of Molotovs, so I don't think I have enough raw materials with me to make more. Yeah, I've only got the one tape. So. Yeah, that's the problem. That guy there, I don't want to mess with. He's one of the exploders. Food. All right, let's test the can I relocate them theory. Airdrop. Well, they relocated. There is a good sized crowd right there. Crap. I think they all jumped in for that guy. Hopefully they die. The exploder that just went off. It's making noise and drawing others. Come on, Molotov. Finish them off. Didn't quite finish them. <laughs> Let's go suppressed. Shit. Ah, I'm gonna die. You're too quick. <laughs> Gary. Pretty much how you farm for ammo, I guess, if you can make enough Molotovs. Run around 
firebombing all the infestations. Almost stopped looting several times there, and I keep finding more corpses with ammo. All right. So, did they all leave or not? Damn it! I hit the four key to get the thing out, and it's still... There's such a delay in weapon switching. I hit four, then I waited, and then I pulled the... Or I tried to swing, and it still had the gun out. Alright. Nope. Didn't make it. Oh. Did make it. I don't know if it's going to do enough to finish it. No, I'm going to have to go in there and hit it. <laughs> it's not going to make it. Ah, it's dropping zombies again. <laughs> this thing's a pain in the ass to deal with. There better be some pretty awesome loot in there to deal with all this crap. <laughs> Uh, great. Now that I know how it works, we'll be able to do it a lot more effectively next time, but I need to be carrying like 12 Molotovs at all times. Two, huh? Plus there's, I don't know how many more over there. Thought I had that thing suppressed. Or do I have it compensated? I think I have it compensated actually. That's why I'm getting into trouble. You are compensated, right? Yeah, that's what's getting me in trouble. All right. I got to remember that. Four hundred points left. <laughs> That's funny. Ah! Hello. No stamina. This thing spawns more zombies after I finish it off. We're gonna die here. I hate recovering stamina while we're getting irradiated. Infestation destroyed. Interact. Uh, that was not worth it. <laughs> not even remotely. Nope. 
That was terrible. Okay, other than, I mean, I got more value out of the zombies that kept spawning and the ammo they dropped. <laughs> that was that was the only benefit to all of that nonsense. I think I came out positive on ammo. We used a lot of Molotovs, which is not great, but... Yeah, that was trash, yeah. Trash loot. All right. Let's grab this. Usually it's good. Well, see what you failed to do is you failed to um, multiply by the Vormithrax loot factor. That's a, it's a 0.4 multiplier. <laughs> My loot and luck is always uh, modified downward so that, uh, you know, I don't get much. Oh, crap. Uh, must have been friendly. Oh, or not. <laughs> or they're fighting zombies. All right. We got a camp here, over there, next to this, huh? Um, yeah, we'll go through here. I really wish the get in vehicle would stop popping up constantly. It's really annoying. Bad visibility. And I lost my identify bad guys thing. Whoa. Nice, dudes, you got you some, some guns. <laughs> what the hell is he shooting me with? Whatever it is, it go boom. How far away can I be? Apparently that far away works. At all or was there another one? I'm sure I got them all yet. Go do a drive-by and find out. Oh, still at least one. Finish the reload. Ah. Got in a hurry. Didn't let didn't let him walk into the crosshair. Uh, this one does not have the turret, right? No. Nothing as usual. Little bit of ammo. Radiation pills is good. There's the boss. What you got, boss man? A Creek Prison, and some ammo, and three rad pills. Nice. Actually, that's pretty good. None of that junky, super large, useless weaponry they usually give me. Not terrible. L85A3. No thanks. Nice little bonus for a little bit of 308. Nah, I'm saving the grenades for uh, later game stuff. Bosses inside the prison and places like that. I don't want to use them on these kinds of things. 
<sighs> yeah, I haven't been impressed with what grenades look like anyway, so. A single burst of 115 damage is not impressive. Getting dark. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There goes more damage on the vehicle. Um... Let's uh let's get to daytime or sleep the night away before I do anything over here. One hour. Whoa! Where the hell did all that come from? I mean, I know we killed some infestation stuff. Did I get like a massive XP boost when we killed the uh, the infestation nest or something? There ain't no way I killed enough stuff to jump me because we were only at like two or three points. There's no way I gained seven points in the last, I don't know, hour. Unless we got a huge bundle of XP by eliminating the infestation. Which I wasn't aware was a thing. I mean, that would get you through these a lot faster if you just make a bunch of Molotovs and go clear infestations. I mean, I guess we'll take the... I, mean, I don't see how this is useful, because usually if you hit zero, whatever killed you is still going to be there to do the extra 15 damage to you, so how the hell is this useful? I just don't get how this was is, is actually a functional, useful thing. Maybe if you get sniped at long range, you could get back up and then keep moving and, and survive <laughs> the next round coming in from the bad guy. But you get killed in melee. I, I don't see how this does anything. All right. Uh, we'll just take that one. I guess we'll just work our way down this tree. Nah, screw There we go. Whatever. All right. Uh, I guess we'll kill some zombies. Then I'll work on killing those bandits. I'll get pulled out to the front earlier. Already got the hazmat. Guess we can snipe from up here. Hey zombies. I'd rather not have the zombies come pouring up the stairs when I start opening fire though.
Those are definitely hostile, right? I can tell for sure. I'm going to assume so. If not, my bad. Yeah, it's saying bandits killed, so I guess I guessed right. No stamina again. That uh holding your aim really takes out your stamina very quickly. Not likely to get much loot off of these guys, though. It's questionable whether it's even worth the ammo. Unless there was a boss in the pile. Assault. No loot. No loot. Eh, some 556 at least. Yeah. <laughs> Not really use or uh, helpful to kill these guys that don't have a camp. All right, we're out of here. I'm gonna go dodge some radiation again. Blonk. I am almost out of gas. Can we make it home before the gas runs out? Ooh, I better not try. Oh! <laughs> Keep flipping. Keep doing flippies. Oh, we're out of gas. Can't get out of the vehicle until it decides to slow down, which you can't break while the uh, the gas is running out. All right, uh, let's kill these guys real quick. Together, please. Oh, you you screwed me up, you stupid tree. All right, we still managed it. Yeah, I didn't want to try to race through the radiated area and run out of gas in the middle of it <laughs> and have the feral radiated zombie dogs biting on me. Erp. Hey, doggies. Bad dogs. All right, that was a good, interesting trip. Let's see. Get you here. You, oh, nope, you can't fit sideways. Got to go vertical, huh? All right, leaving that, get a replacement gasoline, and otherwise we've got everything. Let's uh, toss you over there for now. Not trying to pick up, I'm trying to interact. Uh, it's going to be make more Molotovs time.
Um, I guess that's going to be for sale. Go ahead and make big boom boom. So, I don't think I have red dot currently. Okay, so two, six, three hundred Winchester. Really? Oh, wait, we're actually uh, carrying a fifty cal. Oh, we got some shotgun shells finally. Might actually need to test out the shotgun. I haven't been too impressed with the limited testing I did previously. And we're also carrying 5.56. Five, we just went over the 100 round limit. All right. Uh, going back in the car, selling. That's pretty much everything. So, yeah, no sights, sights. Got the uh, specter on that one. All right, so yeah, we don't have the red dot. Next up, Molotov. Make all the Molotov. Thirty cloth. Oh, because that's down. <laughs> All right, three stacks of four. That's what we'll go. Okay, we're doing good on 308. We should mostly stay ahead of the curve. I only fire, I don't know, 15 or so rounds each time I clear a bandit camp. Um, and we're usually uh, accumulating more than that in between bandit camps, which is mostly where I'm firing the 308. 5.56 five, we just need tons of and we don't have. Uh, 50 cal is, you know, I don't know when I'm going to pull that pistol out. It's probably not even worth carrying around how seldom I'm going to use it. We got one 5.56 five, mag. We haven't found any of the fancy high capacity mags on anything. Um, I think. Where are we at for uh, cash? 1300 We should do another loot run and go hit the uh, safe zone, see what the guys have got. But I'm going, I'm going for the subway finally. Sick and tired of waiting. So health 56. Go grab one more kit. 
my only other kit. Takes up more space. Back through the radiation. Oh, we got the bandits at the far end too, do we? That sucks. I gotta kill these zombies behind me. Otherwise, I'll get hit from behind when I try to kill these bandits. Time to clear the church. Hey, you. Just do a ah, it's that second swing. Yeah, this place has so little loot. All right, so uh, I'm clear behind. Uh, now I gotta waste some ammo on these guys. little high <laughs> I 
Where are you going, guys? You out of here? That's an interesting tactic. You're not going to be able to... Yeah, you're not going to be able to walk up there. But your little hop maneuver is going to keep me from hitting you very accurately. Bit more than I liked, but gotta, gotta clear them. I can't uh, get to the subway without getting rid of these guys. Some nine mil. All right, what do we got? Uh, you know, the usual assortment. All right, let's get the vehicle ready for an oh my god, oh my god, get me out of here maneuver. AKA a brave Sir Robin. Okay, hit points good. I forgot to refill my water before we left. That's all right. One guy over there. Two people over here. Ooh, red pills. Ah, crap. The difference in height screwed me up there. <laughs> I missed a shot or two. Alright, I think that'll clear enough. Yeah, maybe not. Oh shit. Oh shit. Urgh. 
<laughs> Whoa. Where the hell did all those come from? All the way down there when I looted that other container? Sometimes the container looting is ridiculously loud. <laughs> Yeesh. Hey, where the hell did you come from? Missed him. Now that was interesting. There was yet another one. Yeah, I'm not sure where all these came from. All right, I think we got it cleared enough. We can peek down into here now. Uh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he stepped into three of them sitting right there on the side of the wall hiding behind that little grass cluster. There's a lot of them sitting right there. Switch to the Big Bang Bang. Hard to tell who I've looted. Eh, these civilian goggles aren't too bad. Restricts your vision range quite a bit, but clarity's not. Another big Jenny, huh? Come on, bull cutters. <laughs> nope. he gets a hit on me. Apparently most of the population of this place was right up in that front corridor. I 
I have yet to actually take one of those tunnel exits. All of a sudden, we're doing pretty good on rad pills. All right, just the main platform loot, and we're out of here. All of a sudden, it feels like I'm moving slow, and I'm at two feet off the ground. I do not care about any of that. Four tape is really good, though. All right, let's go check the good stuff. Uh-oh, do we not have a good stuff box? Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a military crate, so yay. Feels like we're losing visibility. Wow, is it dark? Is it nighttime already? Yep. Great. I didn't mean for that. Ah, that's why it got so dark. Can't see a thing. Okay. Let's see, anything I want to do here? We got most of the half of the front half done. I could grab random loot. Go wave my hand at the barrel, have it explode, and pull all the zombies from the other half, or from a good distance on the other half. These red barrels are hilarious. Red barrel gone? Oh, red barrel's gone. Well, that's unfortunate. Need another lunchbox. Don't need another tools cabinet. I need a toolbox, damn it. Toolbox. Stop giving me cabinets. Oh, crap. I forgot about the airdrop. Ah, oh, I forgot about the airdrop. I got distracted and then forgot to check where it dropped. <laughs> Damn it. That's a lost opportunity. Totally forgot about it. Oh, the barrel is there. Zombies. <laughs> I 
the mystery if they'll make it through or not. I think there's a safe in here somewhere. I don't remember where. Or I'm misremembering. Oh, damn it. I keep thinking that's a toolbox, and it's not. Let's see. Um, we haven't finished this block yet. Still really, really hoping to get a... Um... Oh, not that. Get bolt cutters. Uh, let's see. Are you hanging out back here? Swimming in repair kits all of a sudden. Uh, it's mostly food and stuff in there, which I don't really care about. Same in there. Don't need to go over there. Look at that side. This is where the safe is, the top floor, or am I just remembering wrong? There it is. Where are you? Not there. Not there. Other way. Really?
<laughs> These things. It's like a one half a pixel to the side and it changes the position every time it does that. May not have enough lock picks. Oh, come on. I really hate this kind of system where it's just so fiddly and random. Really annoying. Ah, it, it's some magic pixel in like this range right here. <laughs> and I can't get it to land on the exact pixel. <sighs> and it's not returning to the same position. That's what annoys me the most. I wouldn't mind this game so much if I picked a spot, tried it, and then could increment slightly to pick the next spot. But what happens is I pick this spot, try it, and when it returns to this position, I'm over here instead of where I started from. That's what annoys the fuck out of me. I hate that so much. Combining that with the extremely narrow success range, and it's just a time waster. It, and I'm gonna run out of lockpicks eventually on this stupid thing. See, look at that. How many times did I try that little area all to get one credit? God, that is annoying. I didn't even get the big fat wad of cash I was hoping for. I don't care about the credit. I wanted the cash. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. Do not like. Do not recommend. Uh, let's just jump out the window. <clears throat> I don't care about the food. I don't care about key cards. Don't need more gas. All right, we're done. Get out of here. Oh, I go down here first. Oh, wait, wrong direction. Ah, screw it. We're done. <laughs> we didn't get a whole lot that I would consider too valuable in this trip. Let's run home, drop stuff off, and uh, maybe we'll take a trip over to the traders. Might be time to finally actually take a rad pill. I think our filter is probably getting low too.
Hmm. Let's move. Now yeah, let's get you deployed. Uh, sure. So annoying. Inventory Tetris. I hate inventory Tetris. No, oh, I have a nine mil, yeah. It's not as fun carrying around a nine mil as it is carrying around the Desert Eagle, though. You know, it's all about the cool factor. You gotta be cool, you gotta have your deagle. All right, inventory sorted. Anything going to sell? Keeping, keeping, uh, keeping, keeping. All right. Remember properly, this place has a magic explodey barrel, right? Filled with milkshake that brings all the zombies to the yard. Yeah, right there. So I just need to clear a little bit. Well, actually, I can go in from that side and then draw from there into the explosion point. Let's move the vehicle over. Let's see if we can do this a little more economically than we've done before. All right, let's clear these losers out. Foiled by a shopping cart bath. Come on, guys.
be careful where I swing my sword because the barrel will explode <laughs> if we even look at it funny. Uh, I'm going to leave... Let's see. Let's leave them alone. Let's do the barrel thing and run away and we'll see how many guys cluster up. All right, fair number. Still got guys out here that got blocked. But that's a pretty good pile to help us get through here a little quicker. Can't wait till we can get a loot everything in the few foot radius <laughs> button. All right, I see just those two so far. Got still an unknown number inside the building. All right, parking lot's clear. We pulled a fair few out of the building, but there's still plenty in. Hmm. How about... I'm worried they might actually be able to get up on this. All right, let's stay with the sword for the moment. I'm just worried about a mob coming around a corner at me and then I die. I hear you. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Another one of those weird weapon switching goofs. All right, I still hear somebody over this way. Might be upstairs. Get to the back of the building, I'm a little more likely to have somebody show up. Oh, 
probably just go straight to the, uh, the roof. Actually, need to get moving through this. Uh, I was intending originally to go to the uh, the traders. I'm gonna run out of time here pretty soon. Let's see, where was the good stuff? Hey guys. I remember something, I think, back in that corner. Yeah, so little th things I care about. But he's still alive somewhere. Hiding in the bathroom. All the tools except for the one I want. Jeez. I hate this place. Just really not worth visiting for the effort. All right, finally up on top. Here we go again. Right close to the midpoint. Uh, it doesn't help when you move my character model around. Man, that look. What, what the? <laughs> what the hell? Well, four credits and a thousand bucks. That's a little better, finally. Uh, and that's it, right? I don't care about the food courts. Check those, check those. Is it just the one? Uh, nothing there. We went through there. This is mostly food. I think that's it. I'm out of here. Yeah, so if you use the, the barrel and a Molotov, you can clear quite a bit of the percentage of the enemy here and then run through it, but a safe up on the roof is really the only thing you're going for, and you got to kill pretty much everything in here to get to it. That is some crazy weather slash lighting effects we got going on. Get over to the camp. I agree. Mall's a waste of time. possible we could go take on the prison I've got enough filters and the 99% mask 
and we can make enough Molotovs to help clear the yard. We can do our long gun to get the dogs and clear out a little bit of what starts in the front. And we've got the key card to open the door, and then it's just find a spot where we can stack them up and log, keep lobbing Molotovs in there. So I might go do that. Uh, yeah, interesting weather. Let's, uh, let's do this first. It is now late enough. Are they going to let me sleep here? I'm probably going to have to move a little ways away. Can you get through the prism with only a 99? What does what does only a 99 mean? Oh, you mean the uh, radiation protection? Um, I, I think so. I'm not 100. percent I've only been to the prison once, and I think we had 100. percent I had bought a legendary mask off the trader with my very limited credits last time, so we had a pretty primo mask. I don't know what the effects would be if I went in there with a 99. Uh, yep. come here, you. What do you got? I don't have enough cash or credits to buy anything really good, but wow, look at that thing. <laughs> if only. Eighty slots. Is that better than forty-two? <laughs> Yeah, there's the exterminator. 35 credits for that thing. Oh, man. Holly modified G28, the Guardian and the exterminator. I'd take that over either of those, and this is only 15 credits. Oh, well. Can't get close to that number. I think I left one credit in the box back home. And then we picked up four, so that still put us ten away, which is ten grand to buy the credits. And we don't have that kind of uh, trade value or cash. So, unfortunately, we don't get to take advantage of that opportunity. What else you guys got? Uh... Five, five, six, nine mil, 45. And a bunch of weapons I don't care about. All right, so a bit of ammo. Well, sell the stuff I'm going to sell while I'm talking to it. More 9 mil, more 308. I'm going to buy the 308. Yeah, sure. Why not? No filters. Okay on battery. Oh, never mind. Yes, filter. Well, we got our three, and they're not super uncommon here at the traders, so I think I'll not buy the filter. Got four of them. All right, last chance for bolt cutters <laughs> or a toolbox. I don't, have they ever sold a toolbox? Uh, well, it doesn't matter because they have neither. Ah, uh, well, that's it. So I don't care about books and I can't do the wandering trader. I guess we'll just. Look at picking up any more ammo and uh, get moving. Let's see. Or 9 mil. Not the 45. Go ahead and do 9 mil and 5.5. Five, 
And that'll probably, oh, we don't even have enough money to buy the stack of 5.56. Five, We're already down to 300 of the money. That's unfortunate. Do that many either. Huh? Okay, so out of here. Is, is this just foggy weather in the morning? It must be just foggy weather with some thunderclouds in the area. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to throw them in there. Alright, so mall's a waste of time. We're not going to bother doing that one anymore. Whoops, wheels came off the ground. I couldn't turn. <laughs> We're not going to bother with that anymore. We've cleared the gun store already. At least this gun store. Guess we could head into town here, into Elwood, do another uh, exploration of that. Wandering trader. A little further away than I thought. Where you at, buddy? I'm backing up. <laughs> You're backing into the zombies. I don't know if I can hit the zombie without hitting the traitor. Fuck. Oh, military respirator. Ten credits. The Barrett 50 cal. And suppressors. I got no money. Ah, oh, well. I'll leave him to have fun with the zombies. Moot point. Yeah, I don't know where the private bunker is. I think I have a key card for it, but I don't know where it's at. All full, huh? <laughs> uh, him making the uh, storage container require 400 uh, metal is a bit problematic in storage space. I mean, that's eight stacks <laughs> of just scrap metal. We're up to 300 now. We're getting close. We're closing in. Uh, that, that is not really helping me. Uh, I guess we'll start using the other one. Actually, let's make that one all metal all the time. <laughs> we'll just stack our 400 in there. Easier to keep track. Uh, yeah, I don't need to carry that much 308 around with me. Oh, 
five five six maybe, but not three oh eight. I <laughs> have a rad pill. All right, gear sorted. Uh, make. Make two more. All right, restock our Molotovs. And yeah. All right, food and water, everything's taken care of. Let's uh, make another save here. And I need to step away from the computer for just a couple minutes. I will be uh, back with you here shortly.
Okay, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop right here. We're coming up on about four hours. I didn't realize it was so late. I gotta get uh, moving and doing a few things. Um, we shall return probably tomorrow with some more Surrounded. I'll be back in a couple hours and uh, we'll do some more streaming though. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there.